this portion. Hello. Honorable Speaker. Okay, Honorable Speaker, thank you for the opportunity to add my voice to this. Order. Honorable Speaker. Order. Proceed. What is out of order, Honorable Speaker? Proceed, Honorable. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, yeah. we are discussing a matter of national importance. Most of us here, Honorable Speaker, are vilifying a very important issue. Honorable Speaker, in this country, one person by the name Raila Molo Dinga has never organized a peaceful demonstration. Even when he was trying to say that he'll do one this time around, we knew for sure he is going to organize a chaotic one. Honorable Speaker, I wonder where picketing involves removing, destroy, destroying the infrastructure. I wonder where picketing involves people fighting, the police. Honorable Speaker, we have a constitutional law in this country and we have a law enforcement agency. The, those who produce the constitution and the laws of Kenya must have known that there is need for enforcement at some point. That is why we have the police protecting the Kenyans and Kenyan businesses. When we have people's lives being lost in such incidences, Honorable Speaker, we should be asking ourselves one question. Supposing the rest of Kenya rises up, supposing everybody rises up in this country and decides to fight for themselves, where would these few people be? They should know that they lost the election because they are few. If you are just so few and you lost the election, you have always lost the election in this country, that person should have lost hope. What we need to advise Raila Odinga is that he, has, he should lose hope because he has lost the election every time. There is not a single time he has won. Every time you pretend you have won and he has never won. So we better say the truth here. And you should take it from us that the only way Kenyans will go is through the, the ballot and through an election. There is no negotiation. There cannot be a negotiation for a family. If, 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 if Raila Odinga was really democratic, would we have his brother in parliament and his sister in parliament? Would we have his son, his daughter in the East African parliament? Would we have all that? What kind of democracy is that, Honorable Speaker? What democracy is that? Is that what you want to teach the other Kenyans? Is that what you want us to believe? We cannot believe that. Kenyans will not do what Raila wants. And even if we rose on the road, he will have to wait for five years for another election. Memusi. We are not going to be Order. allowing some Order. of these things to be going. Order. Honorable Memusi, what's your point of order? Uh, order, order. Honorable, honorable, honorable speaker. Please don't move to reply on this. Honorable speaker, and, 